This is an OT case uh, related to activity-based costing adapted from ACCA specimen paper 2014. So let me first read the scenario and then we will respond to the five multiple choice questions on the right of your screen. So let's read the scenario first. Brick by Brick is a business which provides a range of building services to the public. Recently, they have been asked to quote for garage conversions and extension to properties and have found that they are winning fewer GC contracts than expected. So basically, garage conversions and extension to properties are two jobs they are quoting for. One of the job, they are getting them pretty well, whereas for the other job, uh, which is GC garage conversions, they are getting few contracts. They're worried about it. So BBB has a policy and let me just highlight this policy. So they had this policy to price all jobs at budgeted cost plus 50%. So whatever is the cost they calculate, they add 50% to that and they price, uh, they quote that price um, to, to, to the buyer. Now, overheads are currently absorbed on labor hour basis. This is another important note we should note. Labor hour basis. So, currently, overheads are absorbed on the basis of labor hours, uh, resulting in budgeted total cost of 11,000 for each GC and 20,000 for each EX. So, once you apply this uh, uh, rate, which you calculate on the basis of labor hours, these are the budgeted total cost. Consequently, the products are priced at 16,500 and 30,750 respectively. So we are given the cost and the price and the traditional method of absorption costing. The company is considering move to activity-based cost approach. So now the company is thinking to change their absorption costing system. And you are provided with the following data. Uh, the, the total overheads of 4 lakh are now divided into three cost pools. We have a cost pool for supervisor related cost. We have cost pools for planners related to cost and we have cost pools for property related cost. And for each cost pool, we're given their drivers and we're given the total number of activities. Then at the bottom, we have some extra information about the cost of material and labor and other activities required. Now let me read the question on the right so what is our first question calculate the total overhead assigned to gc using labor hours to absorb the overhead so the question is that using labor hour as a basis we need to calculate total overheads assigned which assigned to gc so uh, in order to do this we first of all have to calculate the overhead absorption rate so let me just calculate the overhead absorption rate so because we are using traditional system and the question is telling us that we are um, using labor hour as a base so what i will do is i will divide the total of overheads by the total of labor hours and the total of labor hours are given as 40,000. Now, this is given on the left of your screen. So, the rate in this way is 10 per hour. Now, if we multiply this rate with the number of hours required to complete GC. Now, let me just note it down here on the bottom paragraph. You are being told that GC takes 300 labor hours to complete. So because GC takes 300 labor hours to complete, we need to multiply 10 with 300. So we need to multiply 10 with 300. So if we multiply 10 with 300, the result is 3,000. 3, which is the amount of total overheads assigned to GC using traditional method of absorbing cost, which is labor hours. So, yes, so, so that's our first answer. Then the second requirement is to calculate the total overheads assigned to GC using ABC principles. Now, 
how we do it now we need to apply the principles of activity based costing so applying and 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 this question is asking you only in relation to the supervisor cost so the question is that applying the principles of activity based costing calculate total overheads in respect of supervisor cost now we know the protocol for doing this first of all we need to calculate oar for supervisor cost so this is so i'm just calculating oer for supervisor cost and how we do it we divide the total of supervisor cost which is given as 90000 by by the driver and the driver for the supervisor cost is given as site visits and the total of 500 site visits are given so if I do this, the rate would be 180 per visit. Now we need to note it from the left side of the screen that how many visits are required for GC. And the question is telling us that for GC, we require one visit. So I need to multiply this with one. So our answer would be then 180, right? So I can show you from here that a GC requires one visit. So I multiplied 180, which is the rate with one to calculate the total overheads assigned to RGC using ABC principles. Okay, moving on to our third question. Calculate the total overheads assigned to EX using ABC principles in respect of planning cost. So this time we're concerned with planning cost and we're applying ABC principles. So again, the procedure is the same. First of all, we have to calculate OAR for the planning cost. And for this, we need to divide the total of planning cost, which is given as 70,000 by the total of the driver, which is number of planning documents, and which is given as 250. So if I do this, the rate is 280 per planning document. So this is the rate. Now we need to know exactly how many planning documents are required for EX. So the question states that five planning documents are required to be prepared for EX. So if we multiply 280 by five, we got 1400 and that's the answer. And I show you where it is mentioned that EX requires five planning documents. All is we are uh, using the data from the scenario. Now the next question, question number four, is question number four is um, a question where we are given the cost using absorption costing and ABC costing for both the quotations GC and EX. Now you can see that absorption cost uh, under absorption costing the cost is 11,000 whereas under activity based costing the cost is 10,260 uh, which is uh, lower than the cost under absorption costing and for EX the cost is 20,500 whereas under ABC the cost is 20,980 which is higher than the absorption costing. So now we are given two statements and you are required to, to tell that which of these statements are true. Changing to a system of ABC costing should lead to more comparative price being charged for GC. So we know that one of the implication of ABC is that ABC results in better costing and better pricing. So yes, we can say that once we know our cost in a better way, uh, we are better able to price our products and that leads to comparative pricing. So that statement is correct. Uh, the second statement is using ABC would cause total overhead cost to increase. Well, noted down, ABC has nothing to do with the total of overheads. Total overheads remain same whether you use absorption costing or use activity based costing or any other method. Uh, so that statement is incorrect. So only statement one is correct. So that's why we'll choose option A. Now, last question related to the scenario Which of the following statements about brick by brick and the use of ABC is true? A. The traditional absorption approach give a better indication of where cost savings can be made. 
Um, now, ABC is a better approach to tell you the cost saving. B, ABC is a cheaper system. No, ABC is expensive to um, implement because of so many requirements and uh, uh, time and resources required. C, ABC eliminates the need for cost apportionment. Well, one of the limitations of ABC is that it still requires cost apportionment. Well, cost apportionment is reduced to an extent, but we still do cost apportionment in ABC. And D is ABC improved decision making. So that is one clear cut uh, benefit of uh, using activity based costing. So that's why option D is correct. So that's it. We are done with this question. So stay tuned. Thank you. Bye bye.